Did you know that you don't need animation skills, Photoshop skills, Blender, or After Effects to make complex overlays like this? This tutorial will show you not only how to do that, but how to make objects tilt like my chat box in the corner with one easy plugin. Hey guys, I'm Duty Beard. Welcome back. This is a part two uh, video of uh, some stream advice. Uh, if you missed part one, the link is right in the description. So go ahead and check it out and then come on back here. Uh, by the way, I am a Twitch partner. I stream all the time on Twitch. Uh, please come and follow and say hey. Uh, here's a clip with a lot of context. Thank you all for coming in my mouth. I'll just fucking say it. Uh, before we begin, as always, I just want to shout out my sponsors, Alt Customs and Gamer Subs. Uh, please consider checking out the links below. It really does help me a lot. It helps me make videos like this. Uh, also, please consider using code DUTY with your purchases to get some nice, sweet discounts. Uh, and then, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. That helps me out the most. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about crazy complex overlays and stuff like this. So. What if I told you that the thing that I am in, this tablet here, is really just a bunch of small little elements? Now, I'll show you what they all are, I'll break them down for you, but why do we do this? Um, the, the, you know, I could easily give somebody 30, 40, 50, 60, I don't really know how much it costs, you know, I could pay somebody to make some cool animated overlays for me, but with a couple of, um, with a couple of uh, just GIF elements, image elements, uh, stretching and perspective, and resizing some tools, you could you can make pretty complex stuff, as you can see here. So this will completely kill all the magic for you. But first of all, this is uh, not one but two cameras. Why do I have this thing? Because I always start on this screen. And a lot of elements, uh, and this this is kind of like home home page, home base for me. So when I zoom out, I'm still in this. How, how do I make the whole zoom out occur? I had to make this whole thing one giant module. You could think of it as like a rocket ship or a space ship. So basically, it's a whole bunch of different little elements. Uh, let's start with that moving uh, image. All that is is some free clip art that I pulled offline and with a scroll filter on OBS moving to the left uh, and then you might see like a little lens flare rainbow lens flare spinning around that's that's there too so that's all that is uh, these uh, in the, my Instagram my Twitter my socials they're just they're just image with the images with the background removed on and and some text Twitter th these two were just some text files with a font that I downloaded uh, this next thing is simply just the same border that's around the thing, uh, just kind of overlapped twice. It's actually lazy. This is actually lazier ton than you think. Uh, behind me is an image. Um, that border's gone now, the other original border now, and that honestly just leaves me with the camera, which kind of takes away everything. And now I think the, the rest of this you can kind of see together. Everything's just put together in layers. The clouds are simply just, um, free Mario 1 clouds that I pulled off. Oh, look, oh, that's my Christmas one. Uh, <laughs> um, Mario images that I pulled off of, uh, off of Google. Free images that I, you know, free, free media that I pulled off of Google. Put a scroll filter off of it and layered it correctly and, or, or correct, not correct, correctly is a bad word for that, more, um, strategically and everything. And that just kind of gives this whole scene some, uh, uh, that, that organic touch. Um, the donut background is simply just a, uh, a high quality free image that I found off of Google of a spinning donut. And then that's all it is. I put together everything else, the clouds and the layers, uh, just nice. So it really feels for the viewer that I'm floating up here. And that's really why uh, we put together these big elements and stuff. And that's why you should really be thinking outside the box with some of your overlays. Um, and then the other reason why I kept this whole module with the animation uh, plugin, which I will leave the YouTube link down in the descriptions for, I have the illusion of this thing will drop me off down there and pick me up and bring me all over the place. Um, so that's kind of the illusion that I like to, you know, leave, leave into my streams and everything. That this spaceship is, in fact, organic to to some degree. 
Um, but that is only part one of this part two. So let me change scenes here real quick and I'll show you this other really rad plugin. All right, so luckily this next uh, th this next thing, this next lesson is how to get this chatbot or any any of your elements really to tilt uh, in perspective uh, with this really one easy plugin. Again. Um, so this is the path that you should uh, pop the plugin, and I will put the uh, description for the link, the Stream FX plugin, down uh, down below. Uh, now I just upgraded to point eight. And it went ahead and uh, and downloaded um, right away. So I have the stream fx.so file. That's the new one. But before um, before I had that, because I just I, I literally just upgraded this today. So before that, I had these the OBS stream effects uh, plugins. I'm not sure if you need all three of those, but just in case, I will put the descriptions for everything in the links, so don't, or in the comments rather, so don't worry about that. I got you guys. Once you have the files downloaded, just pop them right into this 64-bit uh, uh, file. I believe 32-bit is discontinued. I'm sure most uh, streamers run on a 64-bit um, uh, uh, system anyway. But this is the path, uh, Windows, Program Files, OBS Studio, and OBS Plugins. Go ahead and just drag her into there. Close OBS if it's open, reopen it, and you should have it, uh, you should have it all set up, basically. So, if you did, in fact, um, let's go to this screen with all my stuff. So, if you did, in fact, do it correctly, then if I go to the object in question, which is, hello, which is this, uh, which is this, this, this spaceship, as we said before, um, you will see a couple of new things. There's a couple new things, uh, in here. There's 3D Transform, which is the one we're gonna look at. I believe the blur is added into the new one, and I believe this, uh, signed, uh, distance field effects are all part of the new, uh, are, are all part of it. So, let's go ahead and open up 3D Transform, which is what we're looking at. And there are two different, uh, two different settings. Or the graphic is kind of neat, you should definitely play with it, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to go right into perspective. Uh, the first thing you should do is lower your field of view a little tiny bit, and now here's the fun part. Mess, and remember where you are, because if you if you don't keep track, it's like a Rubik's Cube. You get all warped out of place. Uh, and adjust the pitch. Whoa! Adjust the yaw. The yaw control. Yaw! That's what, now I learned what yaw means, and the roll, which is pretty easy. So, uh, as you, everything should be kind of popping into your head on like what to do, what all these controls do, so mess around with them. And that's basically it, guys. Hopefully you learned something, hopefully you got some ideas. Uh, you can uh, really apply these things organically, like let's say you have light, let's say you don't have a green screen cam and you have a wall cam, and you want to make like, like a pop-up uh, scoreboard or the game screen appear like over like uh, a framed picture on your wall or something like that. But hopefully some ideas are popping after watching this. Uh, please check the links out. Please follow me on Twitch. Come say hello. Come make fun of me while I stream. I do stream four days a week. Uh, and it has been a pleasure teaching you all this. So uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you so much for being here.